So, what I've noticed with these 50-51 props is they really like a lot of torque. Um, like even on my other rig with the F60s, they're still a little squishy down at the low end and that's kind of the appeal of these props. Um, but all that's to say, I've noticed that they just don't perform that, that well on a not very torquey motors. That said, they feel pretty good on these little motors. So these are 2205s, and compared to the F60s, they're seven grams lighter, maybe eight grams lighter, um, which is a lot, man, that adds up. That's 35 grams or so for a build. Um, let's do a quick amp, amp pull real quick. Oh, wow, yeah, 99.9 .9 right away. So they draw current. <laughs> these props are kind of known to be hungry at the very top of the curve. Um, yeah, they feel pretty good, man. The, one of the biggest things I was worried about, and part of the reason I stopped flying the old red bottoms on my KISS rigs, um, was that terrible low throttle wobble, or oscillation, or um, vibration that people would get. Uh, it kind of sounded like a goose honking, um, like it's super low throttle. It, you know, a dead stick. Um, and I know people are having issues with that, especially with these motors with the really strong magnets. Um, and these have those same magnets. Uh, and so I was really curious to see if I'd get that low throttle kind of dead spot hum. And so far, unless there's something on the HD that I'm not hearing right now, it's not pretty good. So I don't know what they did if they, if they just, I don't know, I don't know how motors work, but they did something that made that wobble go away, at least on this tune, and, uh, you know, with these props. Okay, I'm going I can't talk and fly. If I had to guess, I would say that the low end on this is going to be a little crisper and a little more flippy floppy, and I think I'm gonna like these props matched with these motors a lot more. So, let's uh, find out. Yeah, that mid throttle thing is gone. Yeah, this feels familiar. Again, do forgive the tune, sorry, I uh, only so much daylight today and I just didn't have time to put in more than three or four packs. Nice and interesting. Yeah, wow. On these props, these motors feel great. I like these more than the loonies. Wow. Maybe I just haven't flown HQ props in a long time and forgotten how lovely they are. Test. Only 85. Now, bear in mind that this battery is now a third dead. I should have done that at the beginning. Yeah, 78. Man. Yeah, I really, really like this combo. That, that oscillation's gone. Whoa! <laughs> A battery came unplugged. Uh. <laughs> so a quick recap on these motors. Um, I like them overall. Uh, if if you want a relatively cheap, strong motor, these are a good bet. Um, they remind me a lot of the. I mean, obviously, they remind me a lot of the of the last generation. They're they're small. They're punchy. They have a lot of torque for how big they are. 
Um, that said, there's still a 2205 motor. They're not going to have that that crazy amount of chutzpah that like the F60s or the 2207s will have. But they're seven grams lighter per motor, so I mean that adds up. That's 35 grams of build. So if you're running lighter props like these, like the HQ5040 tries or anything similar to that, these are a great pair for that. If you're running bigger, heavier stuff like the 5051s or the 5045 tri blades, those might struggle a little bit. But I mean, for the price, 20 bucks, um, you're getting the great durability of Emacs, at least based on their, the last generation of these. I mean, those things have taken a beating. Um, and you're getting torquiness. And the one thing I was expecting that didn't see, which is a good thing, was that that kind of classic Emacs low throttle wobble that you would get, especially on KISS firmware and KISS hardware. Um, that plagued a lot of guys running KISS for a long time on these old motors, and these ones didn't do it. And that's great. Either that's this tune, or this build, or I got lucky, or these motors are brand new. Um, but I was expecting to be disappointed by them being wobbly, and they weren't, and that's awesome. Um, I'm glad I got a free set because I'm going to use them. <laughs> These are going to stay on. Well, they're going to stay on the next, the next frame with the same setup. All right, cheers, guys.